quick dev tip. Did you know there's a bunch of keyboard shortcuts that can save you time when you're working on blueprints? So I'm gonna give you some examples. So if I hold B on the keyboard and click, I get a branch. If I hold O and click, I get a do once. If I hold P and click, I get my event begin play. Hold S and click, I get a sequence. I do D and click, I get a delay. Hold F and click, I get a wild card for each loop. Hold G and click, I get gate. Uh, if I just push C, that's gonna make a comment. If I hold N and click, I get a do N. If I hold M and click, I get a multi-gate. If you look up here, it needs to compile. But if I push F7, keep an eye up here, compiles the blueprint. The ones of these I actually use is uh, B for branch, S for sequence, D for delay, and F for for loop. So then we have some shortcuts that take multiple keys to do. If I highlight this guy and I do Control W, it's going to duplicate to where my mouse is. You can do this for multiple nodes at the same time. So I can do the same thing. Select two, Control and W, and it's going to duplicate two. You can do Control F, and that's going to bring up Find menu that you can see down here. And if you do Control Shift F, that's going to bring up a find across all blueprints. So you can see a list of these shortcut keys and also edit them. If we come up to our map, we go edit, edit to preferences, and we look for keyboard shortcuts here on the left. Uh, and there's loads of stuff in here that you can look through. But for what we're talking about today, we are looking for basically the ones that say blueprint. So example there, compiling blueprints, uh, the finds, we can come down, here are some of the other ones. So there are a lot of similarities in number of five, but a few things have changed. We go to Edit Preferences, and we roll down to the section we looked at before, the Blueprint Editor uh, and the Blueprint Spawning section. You can see we've still got things like the Compile and the Find and Find Across All Blueprints, but we've actually got less options available for the Spawning in Nodes. If we look quickly back at Unreal 4, you can see we've got a lot more options in here. For each, for example, it's actually missing. Uh, from Unreal 5. So the ones that we do still have access to is B, click for branch, S for sequence, P for event begin play, M for multigate, and D for delay. So you still got some useful ones in there. So another thing that's changed as well is duplicating is now Control D instead of Control W like it was in Unreal 4. So these blueprint shortcuts are super useful and I think it's definitely worth giving them a try.